what if I told you that there is a place or a way where you can go and get the answer to anything you want about yourself, about your purpose, about other people, about living, about death, about the past, the future. You can get the answer to any question. Now, the first time I heard this, that was like 20 years ago from a friend of mine who was doing shamanism. And I thought, extraordinary. How do you do that? That is so special. But actually now, it's so accessible to so many of us. Even if you're not on a spiritual path, if you're on a scientific interest in quantum physics or anything, you know that all of the answers to everything, the whole universe, is inside ourselves, <laughs> or inside our mind, not our brain, our mind, and our heart. There's intelligence there with the answers to everything. So lately I'm giving uh, healing sessions again, which with me it's a combination of uh, shamanism and also angelic work, which some people think it's two separate things, but for me it's very much um, the same, uh, very different, one of light and one of earth, and this combination is very powerful. Um, and I decided to do it in a way uh, that I didn't do before, through the internet of course, um, in a way where I go and retrieve the answers, the concepts, the instructions, the, the healing from every, every direction. So in the beginning I was a little bit nervous about that because I never did it like that through the, through the internet and through uh, distant healing. I was always having people coming to me or I go to them or in groups or... Um, uh, so this time I kind of thought, okay, this is a new territory and I am going to completely follow the guidance of my guides. And that was such a lovely, lovely experience to remember again that not all the answers are in our conscious mind, some of the answers are in our subconscious mind. Uh, and this is actually the journey. So when I go on a shamanic journey uh, for myself or for somebody else, uh, it is going to another state of beings. Um, and it is, I explain it like uh, from the beta brainwave that we operate on a daily basis, there is very little information or insight that you can have. You can see just a little bit of reality. But if you go deeper into the alpha and go even deeper into the theta, this is where it's all at. Um, and when I record shamanic journeys, um, I call it shamanic sound healing journeys because I also use the the sound and frequency to get information and also to give codes and to give uh, additional knowledge, uh, you, you can come into places and take yourself to anywhere you go. So I just made lately a shamanic journey to meet your future self. So you don't even need me. <laughs> you can go and do it with, with yourself. Uh, go into that state of mind uh, that help you unlock your subconscious mind and go travel there. And I love it. And it, it is so effective and it is so powerful for people to realize uh, that they have the power to enter into their own Akashic records and to reveal to themselves any inside knowledge, inside information about anything. You can do that. Um, and it's also very, very powerful to start to work with your own spirit guides and to start to know what it is, what does it mean, there's all kinds, and how you start with your own personal guide and how you later can work with other forces, how you know how to define which forces to work with, which not, and how to protect yourself from negativity or confusion or unwanted energies and, and um, just to go and to give yourself this insight that you that you need is my dog is uh, coming to say hi so that's what I wanted to share that the answers to any question or issue that you have can be answered by you connecting to your higher self going through a very deep meditation they also do the same in hypnosis or just doing the same in trance meditation and shamanic journey is pretty similar. 
It's understanding that we have all dimensions inside ourselves and you can go very purposely protected and clearly to that place to to get the insight that you want. So I always connect that also to creativity because it's a creative force. I mean, if you can if you can open yourself and your mind and your heart into traveling, then suddenly you have an idea for a book and an idea for a play and you write a new song and you make a new... All creative people are just people who are traveling into places inside dimensions. So it's so, 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 so recommended. And in my work in springtime, this is what we do, connecting into know your own spirit. And when you know your own spirit, you connect to your own spirit guides and you feel supported and you're one of the oneness and you know how to work with it. And and lately, I, I work now with lots of different forces and for years and years, my spirit guide um, was my best friend. <laughs> I actually wrote a very interesting blog about that uh, how my spirit guide changed my reality and lately actually this week I said to him you know I'm, I'm always working now with different kind of forces but he is the closest to me it's like really like a brother and I said to him I want I want I want to have fun with you again and it was so interesting to live my day again whatever I was cooking whatever I was traveling to to have my spirit guy there cracking jokes next to me and always encouraging me to to see the positive sides in things and when I get too serious to um, to go dancing that's his um, that's his recommendation to me <laughs> so in the first shamanic journeys that I was doing with myself uh, every time I want to ask a serious question about my life because I like to get answers and to understand what I'm doing and why and why this happened and why this person said that and he would not answer my question until we danced somewhere. So I danced all over the world, all kind of dances with all kind of costumes with my spirit guide, having total fun with this. So I also created the course, uh, Heal and Connect to Your Spirit Guide, because this is the foundation of learning your own inner world. It's the foundation to realize that you felt something since you were a child and, and, and the loving and caring powers of those forces of those invisible friends and family sometimes sometimes it's people that pass that we know sometimes it's ancestors but everyone i believe everyone have more than one spirit guide and some of them are really really with you always and every day and want you to succeed and if you don't understand something you don't know something you don't have to solve everything through your little conscious, little afraid kind of self. It's very, very, very good to um, to connect on a, on that side and 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 learn in a new way. So that's what I want to tell you about how to answer questions you want to have questions about, because the world is big and your akashic record is amazing, and traveling into understandings of different dimensions. It's uh, it's a uh, great way of living. So this is for me today. Bye.